Chevrolet Silverado truck line just got bigger. A lot bigger. Chevy on Wednesday unveiled three Silverado chassis cab trucks that could form the basis for everything from utility bucket trucks to beer vans at the work truck show in Indianapolis. The biggest, the Silverado 6500 HD, should be able to haul at least 26,000 pounds. That compares with the maximum towing capacity of 12,500 pounds for the 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500 light duty pickup. This is the first time Chevrolet has used the Silverado name of its popular pickups on bigger class 4, 5 and 6 work trucks. Chassis cabs are trucks that are built with a cab, but no rear body or bed. That makes it easy for buyers to turn them into anything from walk-in delivery vans to ambulances or school buses. The trucks will be available with rear or four-wheel drive. Allison transmissions and 6.6L Duramax diesel engines that produce 350 horsepower and 700 pounds FT of torque. Chevrolet developed the Silverado 4500 HD, 5500 HD and 6500 HD with heavy truck specialist Navistar. The trucks go on sale late this year. Detailed towing and payload specs should be available when Chevrolet begins taking orders this spring. A rear air suspension will be available. Chevrolet previously called its big chassis cab trucks Kodiak. Honda has confirmed the cute as a button urban EV concept will go into production next year. The box-shaped hatchback, inspired by the design of the tiny two-cylinder, Bug-Eyed N360X introduced in the late 1960s and the first-generation Civic introduced in the early 1970s, will be on European roads in 2019, Honda confirmed at the Geneva Motor Show overnight. The news comes less than six months after the Urban EV was unveiled at the Frankfurt Motor Show. At the time Honda President and CEO Takahiro Hoshigo hinted, this is not some vision of the distant future. In Geneva, Honda confirmed the order books for a production version of the Urban EV concept will open in early 2019. Honda Motor Europe Senior Vice President Philip Ross said, a production version of this highly acclaimed concept will be introduced to Europe during late 2019, and in response to the positive feedback to this model, we expect to open order banks for the Urban EV during early 2019. However, the news isn't quite so electric for Australian fans. Honda is yet to confirm whether the model will be heading down under but it's expected to be a safe bet given the vehicle will be made in Japan, also a right-hand drive country. The company is also yet to announce key information such as battery charging times and driving range. The production version of the four-seater hatchback also won't look quite as daring as this motor show display car but here's hoping it's close to the mark, including the front bench seat. Honda says the concept car can accommodate four occupants in comfort across the concept car's two bench seats, which are finished in different materials to create the ambience of a lounge. Tesla caused quite a stir with its all-electric semi-truck when it unveiled the vehicle in November. Boasting 0 to 60 mph in a zippy 5 seconds and a range of 500 miles, as well as autonomous driving features and a design unlike any truck that's gone before, Tesla CEO Elon Musk hopes the Tesla Semi will one day transform the long-haul trucking industry. On Wednesday, Musk posted a photo showing a couple of the trucks embarking on their first ever delivery run. The ride, which involves transporting battery packs between two Tesla facilities, covers a round-trip distance of just under 500 miles, so it could complete the trip on a single charge. The CEO wrote in a message posted on Instagram, first production cargo trip of the Tesla semi-heavy duty truck, carrying battery packs from the Gigafactory in the Nevada mountains to the car factory in California. Tesla is aiming to sell the truck to shipping firms starting in 2019, but initially, while it tests and refines the vehicle, it'll run its own operation consisting of rides similar to Wednesday's effort.
the truck with the 500-mile range is expected to cost from $180,000, while a 300-mile model will start at $150,000. There will also be a limited edition Founders Series 1000 will be produced, starting at around $200,000 each. News of the truck's first outing comes a few weeks after we heard about the company's apparent plans for a vital part of the platform's infrastructure, charging stations. According to Reuters, Tesla is working with early customers of its electric semi-truck, among them Anheuser-Busch, PepsiCo, and the United Parcel Service, to build the charging stations on their own sites. The report said some of the companies are exploring the idea of sharing the charging facilities with one another for efficiency and cost savings. And just like the supercharger stations for its cars, Tesla is also believed to be making plans for its own facilities along highways to sell electricity to truckers looking for a top-up. Tesla's entry into the trucking business comes as a number of new players look to shake up the industry. Uber recently started delivering freight in Arizona using its autonomous truck, while Waymo and others are also investing heavily in the development of their own self-driving trucks. Chevrolet is building out its commercial truck business with three new medium-duty Silverados, the first class 4, 5, and 6 chassis cabs with the Silverado name. The 4500 HD 5500 HD, and 6500 HD broke cover at the work truck show organized by the National Truck Equipment Association in Indianapolis this week. The chassis cab trucks will offer Duramax diesel power, optional air springs, and straight one-piece frame rails, among other features intended to lure fleet buyers away from the competition. Expanding on its current heavy-duty pickup lineup of the Silverado 2500 HD and 3500 HD, General Motors aims to match and overtake its rivals in the market for this type of chassis cab unit. Chevrolet had previously announced it would be showing the 4500 and 5500 but surprised the crowd with the addition of the 6500. In contrast to the heavy-duty pickups, these are medium-duty in industry parlance, distinguishing them from the heavy Class 7 and 8 trucks that typically require a commercial driver's license to operate think box truck rather than semi. Chevy says its new Silverados will appeal to fleet operators by being more easily customizable than many competitors, and to drivers by offering a more refined driving experience. Both rear and four-wheel drive will be offered on the new Silverados. All models get power from a 6.6-liter Duramax V8 diesel engine that makes 350 horsepower and 700 pounds FT of torque, along with an Allison 6-speed automatic transmission that has a power takeoff option. The biggest selling point of the new trucks is their frame setup. Unlike some competitors, the new Silverado uses straight single-piece frame rails, which are painted at the factory to help fend off rust and have fuel lines routed within them for tidier packaging. Even rivets and brackets have been moved off the top of the rails to ensure a clean, smooth surface for upfitting configurations. Chevrolet will offer 7 cab to axle length options from 60 to 162 inches. It also has five lengths, in eight-inch increments, from the axle to the back of the frame. This wide variety should make it easier to couple multiple types of rear cargo setups without the need for additional supports or fitments. A second but equally important goal in developing these new Silverados was a comfortable driving experience. Chevrolet will offer factory-installed rear air springs, in addition to the beefy leaf springs, for a suppler ride, and the inset doors have been triple sealed to reduce noise in the cab. Additional feature points included a lightweight clamshell hood and front wheels that turn as much as 50 degrees to shrink the truck's turning circle. These attributes also ease access for service. Modern amenities include an available 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, inductive cell phone charging, and OnStar connectivity. 
Chevrolet intends to offer the trucks at more than 400 of its dealerships focused on the commercial market. Orders for the new trucks open this spring, and production will begin in late 2018.